Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Turnabout Goodbyes, the beginning of it. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite cases for the entire series. I just I can't say it's number one, because I have too many favorites in this, but it uh, goes a lot. If you like Edgeworth, you know, if, if you've been liking Edgeworth, this one really goes into his character and, you know, how he became the person that he is. It's also a pretty long case, so... Let's go ahead and get right into it. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You, you suffered? And now? The perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge! What? Merry Christmas. Oh, snap! <laughs> We're doomed now! <laughs> what you doing, Edgeworth? Oh, murder on Christmas Day. What is this? Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh, oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to be br I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. But them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. So much for the rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted on Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Ah, <sighs> boring. <laughs> Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick! Apparently, ESP is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of the man was found in the lake early this morning. The suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecution attorney known for his skill and c connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? E Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes! Uh, Maya! The firemen yelled at me when I called him. We got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect. In a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick! Uh. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate! We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene! You're right. We need more information. Save endlessness and confusion for later. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath the waterfall. Okay, Maya, whatever you're saying. <laughs> Detention center, here we go! This is a terrible place to be on a Christmas day. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Okay, bye! Hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he 
he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were in here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh! Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. <laughs> I hope you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Hey, I didn't want to see you either, believe me. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick! He's insulting you! Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way from your office, from your offices in the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you, you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Maybe if I present my badge! <laughs> I want to present my badge! Come on! Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth, let me defend you! Ha! Huh. <laughs> Good one, right. But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it may be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it! Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Well, okay, we're still gonna go investigating anyway, so... <laughs> this is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal! There's nothing of us- there's, n there's enough of us here! Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir, nothing! Idiot! The trial's tomorrow! We need clues on the double! But, sir! There weren't any clues, that's why we arrested the, that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth! It's clear, sir, he's the one who- Shut up! Just you try saying that again! I'll- uh, I'll make you sorry if you do! I mean, just get out of my face, pal! Yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe's kinda scary today! Recruits. Peh! Ah! Eek! Hey, you're that hairy guy! Harry Butts! Right! Phoenix Wright! Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, um, yeah, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out in Gord Lake. In that boat, there were two men. One of those men shot the other man with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did he get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. 
when the report came in, we raced to the lake. The, a witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not! It's not- it's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right! Who cares what the witness says? I care! You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do! But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking the investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, to us. Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him too! Remember the Steel Samurai? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it! Who was this witness? Uh, sorry pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here checking. Say, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I forgot. I forgot. What are you getting for me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sure! What? Found something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I head back? The autopsy report would probably be nice. Well, yes, do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Sweet! You know, Nick? I think there's something to do, something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right! Now let's get investigating. Ooh, investigate we go. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warns a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand! Samurai dogs? I want, I want a samurai dog, please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the Pink Princess now. I mean, like, you know... Nope. Eh, what's this on the bench? Just sitting there. Oops. Eh, <laughs> B buttons. Wiimotes. Huh. Huh? Someone left one of those poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick! It might be a clue. Let's take it! Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? Was it that obvious? A popper. Hmm. Yes, we're taking it. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. That was fast. <laughs> um. 
going to the woods? We're going to the woods! What? Going to the hobbits to Isengard? I don't know. I like it here, Nick! Look! Someone's camping! They've got guts camping out of scene of the murder. Hey! Hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder! That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Uh, we gotta find them first. <laughs> that way. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! Cough! Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe you're not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices? Well, what then? I know! The party popper? Yep, it responded. Yaw! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Eek! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you're doing now! There goes a whole roll of film! Huh? What? Huh? Sorry! Sorry's nice, but I ain't don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs? I'll pay you back! What are y'all thinking, sending off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know y'all you yanks think. I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl, why they must be dumb? Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, help! And who are you now, a chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figuring out, just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sakes. God, I'd rather sit through one of the... Look, oh, hold on. I enjoy, I enjoy making sour accents, but give me a sec. God, I'd rather sit through one of the Papa's draws and listen to your stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry! Um... What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone? Someone, I'm not naming names. I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll! Sorry! That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Uh... Maybe my attorney badge? I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? My badge is supposed to be shiny and all impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool! Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead and ask me anything you like! Finally, some cooperation. You too! Y'all can come out of hiding now, I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry, I was feeling a little overwhelmed with the culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if you... <clears throat> Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if... <clears throat> It pleases you? Thanks! I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lotta, Lotta Hop, but y'all can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet ya! Mighty pleased to meet you too. You were a lot of fun. <laughs> oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night uh, on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. Boat? A boat, you said. I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a meal. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? 
Hi. <laughs> Y'all don't really want to. Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student on Country U, right in the heart of the Heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at University Country U. Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? But then why is she looking for sounds? <laughs> That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. Genuine Sullivan. Isn't that what... Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? It started moving all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A program? A, a programmable camera? Neat! Uh, I think that's all we got now, so... See you later, Lotta. I believe we're supposed to go see Edgeworth now after that? Is there anything new? Ah! Yes, there is something new! Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you! I know. I know that, but I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick, Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go and Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick, we're gonna make you talk, okay, Edgeworth? I think we're supposed to run into one more person, but I don't know where they are. Wait. Or... Maybe he's not gonna show up yet. I guess we'll just go to the precinct then. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss? Hmm? Hmm? Turning yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? No! None of those things! We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh yeah, he's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. FYI, that will not be the voice for the chief in the Rise of the Ashes. It's just... Well, Rise of the Ashes came out long after the first game was done, so... Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? Okay, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going now. Uh, give me a second. Hi again, Lotta. Lotta? Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers, uh, on loud explosion noises? Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we were searching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera, didn't- your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken li late last night. I've checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them though. 
But what if I got something? I will be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Too much moving around. <laughs> okay, I guess now we can go to the precinct? Let's see if Gumshoe's back. Oh, looks like it might be. I guess Detective Gumshoe's still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in some bad news. We're in for some bad news. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, did you tell us- In the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn that trust he placed in us. I see. Mr. Edwards is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get the that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Thank you. To the heart. Okay. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Whew, okay. Thanks for all that info. What is it? Oh! Nothing! Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! I, I remember now! This guy! This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. The- that office? Wait! You mean Grossberg's office? Right! That guy! That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him. For old time's sake. Mm, Grossberg's law offices, here we go. No, actually. We'll go there in a sec. Let's go check to see if Lotta has got our picture. Hey, y'all! Lotta! Wait up a sec. We got bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Wait! See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. You can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, 
Seeing these photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How did you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go try to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Uh, wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice. And that means the cops. I'll sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta! Don't let it get your skeevies been a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. Someone's too excited about court. <laughs> she left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Cool. Not sure if this is a good or a bad thing that she's on there. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go to Grossberg. Or stop here. Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! Ah! Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick! Nick? You know Santa? Wow! Nick and Saint Nick! Hey, I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me! Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl, Ki Kianse, deserves the best. Kianse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. <laughs> wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, dude, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Hey, Larry? There was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kianse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Kianse's not in town right now. She's, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. I'm, the trial's tomorrow. Huh? Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Oh, dude. Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy, Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? See, now we all know. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they the do why are they samurai dogs? I mean they kinda look like gourd shaped. Oh well originally we were they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Kianse's in here. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me the banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um something about that seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake, what, with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy! A Gordy? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? 
Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was the famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow, wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second, but Mr. Ashworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? <laughs> no! He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake, a giant, mysterious monster, Gordy. A monster? Yeah! Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real! Nick, a monster! A real monster! Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm? What's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one mil that'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Cool beans. Alright, Larry. Now I think we can go to see Grossberg. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! Uh -huh. You are Mia's... something, are you not? I was her, un I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Aha! Uh -huh. And you, you're Mia's... something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, uh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. You see? Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? Something is always the matter. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miss Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Oh, bitter desserts. Aw, oh, Grossberg. <laughs> Never got it back. Um, what are we presenting here? Oh, right, the autopsy report. Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Oh! Do you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edward shot? Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was a defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a medium spirit. A spirit medium. Wait! You don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Miss Stipe, was your mother. Contact... Contact... 
contacted the spirit of the medium, of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DO6 incident, yes, happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her power to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being led against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grosford? Uh, yes, just quite. Thank you. No, please, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have to anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait! This is a photograph of my mother! That was very vital. And as you can see, the case falls back now. To the Dissensor Center. Come on, Edgy! What's this? I was hoping you've gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. <sighs> Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you've last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, Fright. You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Awesome! Let's get some information. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um... That spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... Strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? That statue of limitations on that case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick? What does that mean? When a case statute of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. He's still alive. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he got into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um... So, was your father a lawyer? He was... Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. One more time. Uh... Hold on. Before that. 
Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, Wright? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes, will you? I'm gonna go with that. Sorry, Charlie! No way! Right. Nick! Hey, don't look at- don't look so serious, guys! I was kidding! Just a little joke. There was nothing little- or joke-alike about it! I thought it was funny. Nick, do it over! Yes, Your Honor. How could I refuse you, Edgeworth? Thank you, Wright. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Wah! It's, it's coming down! Whew, that was scary! Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering! I guess he doesn't do well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Ashworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick! Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. I don't understand the logic of just leaving a guy curled up in a ball like that. Okay. Just, yeah, let's not check to see if he's okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Look what I got! Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited to the last minute to file those papers! I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal! Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine! I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did, seem to, he did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when, we was, when he was in school. The plot. Thickens. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. The plot thickens, and we'll find out later, I guess. Mm. To be continued to the first trial of Turnabout Goodbyes. See you guys then.